evening of Friday the 13th, the 2-0 Dragons hosted the 2-0 Troy Colts for Lake Orion's home opener. Facing a 4th of 21 on the Dragons, 45 the Colts punted, which netted negative yards, allowing the Dragons to begin their drive near midfield. Following a productive drive, the Dragons are facing a second and six on the Colts' 14. Quarterback T.R. Hill is under center. He takes the snap and hands off to Jackson Vasquez and goes left, breaks, tackles, and finds the end zone for the first TD of the game. The snap on the extra point was mishandled, but the Dragons take an early 6-0 lead with the first quarter winding down. A 28-yard Will Hoffman field goal put the Dragons up 9-0 at the end of the first half. The Dragons begin the second half without their starting quarterback, T.R. Hill, due to an injury to his non-throwing shoulder. Backup quarterback junior Brody Thompson is in shotgun with Lake Orion, threatening the score from the Colts' two-yard line. On third and goal, Thompson takes the snap and keeps it, plunging into the end zone for the score, capping a 10-play, 51-yard drive. The Hoffman PAT was good, and the Dragons are up 16-0 with 6.24 left in the third. Following a Colts punt, Jackson Vasquez fields the ball at the 20 and heads up the middle, then makes a cut and returns the kick all the way to the Colts' 32. On the very next play, Thompson is in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it, stumbles at the five, but falls into the end zone. What a run. The extra point was good, and the Dragons extend their lead 23-0 with 4.55 left in the third. Following a safety to make the score 25-0, the Dragons begin a drive on their own 40. On first and 10 from the Colts' 17, Thompson is in shotgun once again. He fakes the handoff, keeps it, goes left, and scampers into the end zone untouched for his third rushing TD of the second half. The Hoffman PAT was good to make the score 32-0, and that's how the game would end, with the Dragons' defense securing the shutout. We caught up with head coach Chris Bell after the game. Got yeah, good quarterbacks, you know, and then they both have different skill sets. Um, so we're in good hands. You know, our offense, obviously, TR is a game changer. You know, he's special. But our offense doesn't change much with those two guys. They can both throw it. They can both run it. You know, our offensive line took over in the second half. So we, we have weapons, and we feel good. Your defensive backfield looks shaky to start the game. They gave us some plays, but yeah. they locked it down in the second half. Second half they did, and I credit to, to Russ Purdy. He made some adjustments with our coverage, brought a little more pressure, and they got good athletes. They got a good quarterback, and you know, and uh, they were taking advantage of some of the things that we do in our coverage and, and uh, you know, our defense adjusted, which is important. On Friday, September 20th, the Dragons visit their neighbors to the north and take on the Oxford Wildcats in the battle for the double-O trophy. Then they return home to host Rochester Adams on September 27th. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.